the Milo Beasley Show. Do 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 do. Episode number ninety three. Number ninety three. Ninety three. Yeah, like we're we're working up there. Is it a weekly or? Yeah, it's a weekly every I was week. If so. it's daily, then it's okay. So oh, ninety three weeks. I don't know. It? Yeah, ninety three weeks. It's almost uh, almost That's two years. That's seventeen years. Oh, sorry. It my is about is seventeen terrible. years. Yeah, my math is. I don't math. Carry the one. Uh, my guest this week uh, here we're, we're hanging at the, the Fanboy Expo is uh, Tara Sands. Hi. Not Tara, like my friend Tara Cardinal. Um, Tara. Tara Cardinal. It sounds very fancy. It I'm is, just it's very fancy. Tara. <laughs> That's a good name. I like the name Tara. Uh, I have a relative whose name is Tara. I can't really say who it is, but it might be my sister. It's very top secret, but it could be possibly be. So you're hanging out here at the Fanboy Expo. It's awesome. Everyone's super nice and super fun and. Do you like the cosplay stuff? Happen. Do you like the cosplay stuff? Like, I do saw you some like, really good cosplay today. Like, what have you seen? Like, what have you seen so far? Like, I was really impressed with the enormous Chewbacca, and it was on it like still and big. stuff. And then he came back and he's like, "I was that guy," and I was like, <laughs> "No way." He was like, how, this big. "So like, and I was did you get a picture with him?" He wasn't dripping in sweat. I was like, like "How did you cool down?" <laughs> you, you must have come up to like his like way. I didn't, and I I was busy at the time. Now we're having like a little lull, but um. I, I, I was like about to leave the line and like just go get a picture with Chewbacca, but I didn't get it. <laughs> So uh, you're hanging out here at the Fanboy Expo, and uh, people are coming up and, and talking to you because you've done some voices. I make I make the funny voices. You I say I'm a talker. They, when people ask what I do, I say I'm well, a Well, that's good because we're doing a talk show. We're talking. We're talking now. Hopefully they can hear us because apparently Frozen, the musical, is uh, is going on right next Look, to us. And we're Anna letting, and Elsa are singing their hearts out. Have they been letting it go all day? They've been letting it go. They're building snowmen. <laughs> they are. Look, at least I like the music, so that's oh, great. We're gonna like Disney is gonna end up like shutting down like this uh, episode. Um, uh, true story. Like Mo playing. Motown shut down one of my episodes before because uh, we had like five seconds of Marvin Gaye. Let's get it on. Very litigious. Yeah. So apparently, uh, so hopefully Disney, please don't shut us down. Oh, we'll we mention you in the like I love Anna copyright. And Elsa. Yeah, we love the Anna and Elsa. Um, I do. I so, know all the words. <laughs> do you? Are you a big Frozen fan? Yeah, I mean, how can you not be? I think it's actually illegal to not be a Frozen fan. Are you? Uh, I've heard several people were actually locked up. And <laughs> You're thrown in jail. They did not like Frozen, so I learned. Are you more Anna or are you more Elsa? Are you the younger sister or are you the older? Elsa. I'm going to go Team Elsa. You're going to go Team oh, Elsa? Why do I have to choose? Why? Why do I have to choose? Okay, no, no, team, team Frozen. Team Frozen. What about Olaf? Are you a big Olaf fan? I do like Olaf, but I don't like, I'm not a, I don't, I don't like to be cold. I'm not like, I don't, like, when she says the cold never bothered me anyway, I'm like. It bothers. Um, yeah, especially when you're outside a long time, you're hanging out on street corners no, and, I'm not building and trying to get food. Yes, well, yes. Yeah, I mean, just you're, like in Frozen. You're, <laughs> you're a starving artist, right? Yes. <laughs> you know how it is. Um, so always uh, begging. Always begging, begging for food, begging for work, or whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, so this folks may have known you. Took a terrible turn this interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never thought it was gonna go like this. Uh, so, but you're known for being the voices of some of the Pokemon. Pokemans. The Pokemans? The Pokemans. That makes them sound human. They're Pokemon. The Pokemons. That, that's they're... more Jamaican, like a hey, Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon. Because the Pokemons. Some of the Pokemon, some of the actual people in the Pokemon world. And... Yeah, but you're most famous probably for uh, Bulbasaur, well, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what, the what people, people care about. That, they... Look, he's number one for a reason. So. Is he, uh, he is number one. He's number one. Uh, so, um, how did that like come about? How did you get into like know. voice acting? Like, how does that happen? Like, like, He's very lucky. Somebody watches an episode like this, and then they're like, "She'd be a great voice for an uh, animated character." You know, well, I started doing it many when I was a kid, so I got very lucky. Oh um, wow! Yeah, I got sent on like a old school kind of audition where they said, "Say these words," and and my first job, I said, "Ooh, gross, a wart." And um, yeah, I know it's, it's, it's pretty glamorous. That should, that should, that should, should be your eight by ten. That should be. Okay, <laughs> It should be. Yeah. See, now you a million dollar idea. Who gross a award? Or t shirts. Let's take it on Shark Tank. Or t shirts. That'd be great. Who gross a award. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, so I just, and then I, Pokemon was just a random audition I went on. And, and, uh, and, you, and you landed it. You nailed it then. I, well, I didn't audition for Bulbasaur. That, that sort of just happened. I, I, I was doing some other role, and they're like, hey, can you be that blue guy? And I was like, I don't know. Okay. What is it? Right. You're like, well, you really don't have I mean, anything. I'm here. anything 
to go by what he sounds like because you well, are what he sounds like. Well, we did. We tried to match the Japanese version of him. There's R2. R2's head. R2. No, wait, there's so many. There's a bunch of It's like an R2 parade. Oh, wait, that's a purple R2. Should I know what that is? Uh, I don't. I'm a pretty is big fan. and I a flamboyant R2-D2? But like... Yeah, you know, it's, it is Orlando. Is that a paint job? That one has What's a mustache. That? Is that steampunk R2D2? It's a steampunk R2D2. He has a mustache. Okay, I'm kind and of a top excited. hat. <laughs> I'm kind of very excited right now. So is this the type of stuff that you get excited about, like uh, going out and doing this and yes. traveling and so getting the sea cruise? Would, when would I ever have seen Lakeland? You know. Well. So now, she's rolling her eyes. <laughs> no, but I. Like, So are you, so cute are you traveling like every weekend? About once or twice a month. It's once not, or twice a yeah. month. So, so what do you do on the weekends that you're not traveling? I'm sleeping. No, I'm sleeping. <laughs> watching a lot of Netflix. <laughs> um, I'm, there's nothing fun happening. Um, a lot of Netflix and movies. Like, a I lot, see a lot of movies. Yeah. A lot of movies? Yes. Like, uh, like the made for Netflix, like made for TV B movies? Mm, or like... Sure. <laughs> no, but here's the thing. So I haven't even seen Deadpool yet. Like I'm so behind. What? I know. I, is great. I should be thrown right out of here. Yeah. I, saw... I should be thrown with, in with the people who don't like Marcus. <laughs> That's where we're. That's the jail I'm going. So, so now you got to get out there. And, so ne uh, next weekend is all about. Next weekend is is, yeah. is Deadpool weekend. Yeah, I'll see you guys at the movies next weekend. Right, see, see if you should have like your own segment. <laughs> Tara at the movies. movies. Well, I have a movie. Actually, I have an anime movie that just came out in theaters, and I, I will plug because it's so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Studio Ghibli. Plug movie. away. That's what we do. Yeah, let's plug it. It's let's called, plug everything. Yeah, it's Studio Ghibli, which always is amazing. Okay. And it's a movie from a while ago that they finally dubbed into English called Only Yesterday. Only Yesterday. And it's starring Daisy Ridley. I think some of you have heard of her. Yeah, she's kind of in the news lately. She's kind of in the news. And Dev Patel. And I'm playing a bunch of incidental characters. And it's just this beautiful coming of age story that I, I'm really, really psyched to be part of. And it's Ghibli, and that's awesome. And yeah, so I mean, company, it, so. that's cool. So yeah, so definitely check that out. We, do you watch? Right do you watch something like that at home, or do you like to go out and watch I like a movie? Like, yeah. So you're I mean, I have like my TV is not enormous. You know, it's like a decent sized television, but it's not. Uh, <laughs> it's a 12 inch black and white battery like, operated from like the 80s. Yeah, it's frank, yeah. <laughs> so, No, I mean, I always would rather see something on a big screen, and I think that seeing things with a crowd is a much more exciting way to see things. I I definitely agree. Although, uh, see, no I'm more a big. Legal downloading. No I'm, more. I'm a big. I'm a big. Uh, I used to be a big first night person or that that midnight showing. Oh, the Thursday midnight. But yeah. I'm way too old for I, that. That I used to do that too. There's no way. Like you know, the mid, the midnight movie starts and you know starts at 12:30 by the time all the the previews, and, and then, then you you're getting out of it, and then it's not worth it. And then you're getting out of there at 2:30. You're getting home at 3:30, and then you have to start your next. You know, and stay. his math is phenomenal, by the way. I, I saw what you did there with yeah. the adding of the numbers and the. Bringing it back to the map. Uh, so something we like to do on the Milo Beasley show is called the Top Five. Everybody always re reacts the I same way. I was like, oh my god, it's a spontaneous question. Because you know what's going to happen? I'm going to answer the question, and then like in an hour, I'm going to think of a better like, answer. Because oh. you know, yeah. And then I'm going to email you and be like, can you? Can I just dub me in saying these better answers? Yeah, yeah. We got a, we got a couple weeks before this will air. Yeah, we. <laughs> okay. What is this five? I don't even really know. Top Five. You can answer one of two questions, okay? No, I get it. I like we're going to give you options. Okay, so. Top five favorite Pokemans or... It says it's so weird. Yeah? Pokemon. Pokemon. Okay. Or top five celebrities that you have fangirled out to at these uh, conventions. Oh, God. What if I do a combo? Okay. Let's do a combo. Let's do a combo. Favorite Pokemons. Right, besides the ones you voice. Okay, Jigglypuff, because he writes on people. I mean, that's funny. Right. Mr. Mime, because that is the creepiest thing ever and hilarious. Um, fangirl at one of these. I mean, Ed Asner's here, and come on now. I I, every time He's someone, Santa. I'm, and he won't even remember. He actually, I produced a charity event that he came and, and did with us. And, like, he was, like, all over the girls, and he was, like, but, like, it wasn't creepy because... Shatner soon, and that oh. I, I mean, look. The 
Shatner. The Shatner. I don't even know if it's called it's fangirling. I just I find him hilarious. <laughs> I just his spoken word music touches me in a very special place. He worked with Ben Folds, he's one of my favorite recording artists. So I will fangirl out over that. I think that's five. Yeah. Oh thank God. <laughs> I know we asked the hard hitting questions here on the Milo Beasley show. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, before we wrap up, uh, go ahead and Let's chill. What's your, like, do you have a Twitter and an Instagram and Facebook and that stuff? It's so easy. At Tara Sands LA for Twitter and Instagram. And then there's a Tara Sands Facebook page, but then there was an imposter. So I don't know. But you, you can probably find the real one. Find the real one, yeah, yeah. I had to, like, write to the imposter. You, you, do you have It was at weird. Least... It got very awkward. And then he, like, blocked me, but then posted. And then we was like, I'll try to take it down. I was like, do you at least have more likes than the imposter? Yeah, I did. <laughs> right, that would have been awkward. But like, he, no, like. It was, <laughs> I was like, there are probably more fun people to, to be. That's when you know I'm you made not, it. That's the, that's the definition of when you make it, when people I, fake you. I guess so. I wish it was a more exciting story. Like, I don't have any stalkers in jail or anything. Like, that would be. Hey, well, I don't step want, your I don't games want. up. Step your game There's up. There's a lot of prison Go to talk jail today. for this lady. Yeah. Wait. Well, oh, well, here's when I know I've made it. I told someone, I'm like, all I want is someone to get my autograph tattooed on their forehead. So that. That's, uh, that's that would de if there was a definition of making it, that's probably. I am not impressed until you tattoo my signature on your forehead. All right, so I think that's going to wrap that. it up for this episode yeah, well, with Tara Sands. Thank you so much for taking the time Thank to you, talk sir. to me. And uh, and go catch, what was the name of the movie again? Only I've Yesterday. Memory. Only Yesterday. But don't watch it yesterday. Watch it uh, tomorrow or the day after. Uh, thank you, uh, and we'll catch you next week.